as I'm recording this, is past midnight here on the East Coast, meaning my best friend Brinley Kerr's Jeremy Mayfield 19th birthday is officially over, and it's going to be back in the saddle at work. This past week was an up and down roller coaster with 50% good things, 50% bad things, and I want to take on one of the negative things and turn it into a positive story for, like, the future. And this goes out to my friends and heroes at That Girl Lele. Um, Lele, Halaya High herself, Gabrielle Nevaeh Green, Tiffany Daniels, my buddy Tommy Hobson, my, my, my dude Graydon Ariosowitz, um, Sean Philip Glasgow. This is going to go on TikTok and YouTube and whatnot. Hey, I, I might as well put this shit on Instagram. You know, my... Probably one of the one of you know one of the most you know one of you know so one of the one of the most you know adorable. Well, how am I gonna put this? You know, one of you know someone someone on that sh one of the actors on the show who I absolutely adore because of how genuine and ultra mighty sweet and kind and caring and loving she is. Kensington Tallman, you know Anna Grace Ashlyn. This is for all of you. So therefore. I never met David personally, honest to God, you know, but I, the way I got attached to him for so, you know, for the last, you know, since 2020, especially all of 2022, makes it seem like I did. It was the same thing with, uh, you know, Jeopardy's Alex Trebek and Wheel of Fortune Charlie O'Donnell when I was a little child before my modern TV life came into effect, you know, because the fact that when I was a little kid, I did not give a shit about chronological orders whatsoever. I just watched, you know, the show as episodes came and went. Even if I saw the old ass, old, old ass episodes of my favorite shows back in the day a hundred million times. Now that I'm older and that we have social media and my, this kind of modern technology, I do care about chronological orders, and which is why I have a passion for being friends on social media with people from my favorite shows, like you guys at That Girl Lele. Yes, I know this loss is very difficult for you guys, because if I said it was more difficult for me, more than all of you or anyone, everyone involved in David's life, I would be selfish saying that, so therefore, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am thinking of all of you guys, and I'm praying for all of you each and every day and night, and sending you lots of love and a virtual hug from David's hometown of Ohio, which is where my life originated in the 90s, and then I came back in 2010 after a 10-year stint in Michigan in the Lenore house with um, some a uh, whole year in Mexico of thrown in the middle from August 2001 to June 2002, so... Therefore, um, considering, you know, I was going to go hopefully, you know, see him again on my dad's birthday when he came back to Cleveland for that collaboration with, you know, Najee and all those people I don't remember that those two were going to collab with, you know. I was hoping I would try to get to meet to be lucky enough to meet him in person like the rest of you did, but... I guess it was that meant to be, but we're going to continue to go on with life like he would want all of us to do. And as if there's something I learned in life from any of my shows in the modern era of my life, you know, during, especially the pre you know, anywhere in the pre-COVID part, Zachary S. Williams from I Am Frankie taught me the show must go on. And after a roller coaster week this past week, you know, that's exactly what's going to happen starting tomorrow, considering, you know, I'm having my own kind of problems here at home with my family with my grandmother being sick. But we're going to be right back in the fight starting right here, right now. And to those of you at Lele, maybe one day I'll get lucky enough, you know, to actually, you know, come down to make the trip to California and go to Paramount and, you know, hopefully get a meet and greet with you guys, you know, we can, you know, have some lunch, you know, to, you know, and be, you know, on a day you guys aren't film, aren't film, you know, and, you know, that, you know, during the, an ongoing Lele, you know, during an ongoing season, like in the middle, like if you guys are already in season, waiting on the road, as long as the show keeps going on, even though David's gone, we can always, you know, have some lunch, you know, eat some good food, you know, hang out, chill, share some laughs. You know, I can tell you guys about me and so you guys get to know me in person. I mean, Anna Grace kind of did that already, but it, it was such a busy night when David had a show here in Ohio. So there really wasn't much time for me, Anna Grace. So we only talked for like five minutes and I gave her my Instagram and my um, TikTok and I didn't have time to give YouTube because time ran out. But Maybe one day you'll got you if you guys are lucky enough, you guys will get to meet me in person. I can come down there to California with you know as you know with my dad. We can have some good food, you know, have lunch, drink some Coca Cola, 
share some stories, last memories, you know, share some details about each other to get to know us in person since I don't know any of y'all in person yet. And maybe if I'm lucky, maybe we can have John, Ron, Wendy, Will, and all the honchos at Lele, you know, turn on some Ricky Martin so we can dance and sing to him, live in La Vida Loca while shaking our bonbons to, you know, give ourselves something to be happy about. So... You just never know. You just never know. But I wanted to send you guys this voice recorded message and, you know, just tell you um, that you guys are very, very loved by me. You know, you're not you. You were just not were loved by David. You know, you all you are all loved by me, too, as probably the probably one of the biggest Lele fans, because even Caleb Brown himself said before his exit at the end of season one that I was his favorite Lele fan. So hopefully he's not the only one, but hopefully we'll see each other and uh, for the first time in person one day, years down the road, and we're going to have ourselves a hell of a time. So one love to the Lele family. I will see you all when we continue season two sometime later this month. And as David would say, it ain't for the week. God damn. Pace yourself. Bring your ass. God bless all of you. See y'all soon.